Hey, good morning, Restore Church. It is Jordan Taylor here, and welcome to our news. Our news is our resource to you to help you find out some of the big rocks that are going on here at Restore Church. It doesn't cover everything, but it's definitely a good place to start. So without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right on into this week's our news. Here at Restore Church, our vision is to connect people to an authentic and life-giving relationship with Jesus, becoming fully devoted followers of Christ. And one of the only ways we can actually accomplish this vision is by getting to know you better so we can serve you right where you're at. And that's why we have what we call a welcome lunch that happens on the first Sunday of every month. That means our next welcome lunch is coming up on June 2nd at 1230, following our 11 o'clock service. And this welcome lunch is specifically designed for those who are new here to Restore Church and those who have not had the opportunity to meet the leadership here. So if that is you, head on over to RestoreChurch.net, go to the events tab, and let us know that you're coming so we can prepare a place for you. Can I show you something? <laughs> you don't have a choice. So uh, why don't you just say, show me, yes, I'd love to see it. Okay, let me show you something. Come back to me, come back to me, come back to me. Hi, it's me, Izzy. I'm still here. Um, those photographs were taken by teens who attend this church. Are you serious right now? Like, that's incredible. Absolutely incredible. They are part of a group of teens that went to a competition called Fine Arts. Uh, our photographers, along with some of our t-shirt designers, along with some of our painters, actually qualified for National Fine Arts Competition which is amazing. I hope you're applauding right now because I'm stalling for it. June 2nd, we are gonna have a celebration fundraiser. You're gonna get a chance to purchase some prints. You're gonna get a chance to purchase some thank you cards that, that are made from the paintings. You're gonna get a chance to order some of the t-shirts that some of these kids have designed. And you're gonna get a chance to take home some of the delicious treats and the jewelry that our teens make. I wanna celebrate them and I wanna share them and their gifts with you. June 2nd, come prepared. All the details are gonna come out this Wednesday in a special email that you'll find from me. Look for that email and come prepared June 2nd to celebrate our kids and let's send them off to National Fine Arts. Our creative team did such an incredible job with the decorations for Mother's Day that we decided to leave some of it up for this spring season. And speaking of Mother's Day, that's the perfect segue to talk about Father's Day. This year, Father's Day is going to be on June 16th. And we've been throwing around a couple of ideas of what we want to do for Father's Day. And we settled on this. Since fathers love to eat food and spend time with their family, we are going to be hosting a Father's Day picnic on June 16th from 1230 to 2 p.m. The church is going to be providing hot dogs and hamburgers as well as beverages, but we do ask for the, all of those coming, bring your favorite picnic side dish or dessert to share with the rest of the church family. And if you're bringing something, head on over to restorechurch.net under the events tab to let us know what you're bringing so we can ensure that there is a good variety of things to enjoy. Additionally, I recommend bringing lawn chairs, blankets, and lawn games so we can have the best picnic experience available. Again, head on over to storechurch.net underneath the events tab for more details, and I'll see you this year for Father's Day. And now it's time for this week's Difference Maker shout out. And this week's Difference Maker is Leah Ritchie. Leah is part of the prayer team, as well as the nursing home ministry and guest services. Every Sunday morning, Leah is at the altar to pray for and with many. Many Sundays, you will also see her smiling face at the front door, greeting everyone who comes in. She also ministers at the Citizens Nursing Home. Leah has also been part of the Women's Intercessory Prayer Group for many years. Thank you, Leah, for all that you do, not only for us here at Restore Church, but for the kingdom of God. You truly are a difference maker. <laughs> 